fellow gunners, Tim here at the reloading bench. Where else would I be? Well, anyway, here what I found. I have got some 350 Legend Fred Roy ammunition. Now let's look at this stuff. Let's see what did we got. We got uh, 180 grains. This is the Power Shock jacketed soft tip. All right. Let's see what we got. Let me get it out here. All right. Comes in two little. Looks like you clip them to your belt or something. Huh. They'll crow it to your gun. I don't know. Yeah, look at here. They've uh, sealed their primers. Now, what's that say? 350 LG ND. What the heck is a LG ND? Anyway, so let's pull one out and look at it. Wow, first thing I notice is, look at here, guys. It has that 350 Legend Bulge in it. Huh. That. Wow. Okay. A factory load that has the bulge in it because you know that's where that that bullets finishing up Let's see if I can get this closer and get get a focus on it oh yeah another thing I notice is uh, kind of look at the the finish on that brass looks like it's spotted like it's been put up wet there you go. That's a better shot of that. 350 LGND. <laughs> wow. That that just that floors me. It's got that bulge in there. That made all right. I'm gonna get some measurements. Get the old coppers out. Let's turn them on. Throw it out. First thing I want to measure, I can see that the bullet is sticking up above the brass. So let's let's see if we can get a measurement on that bullet. It's hard to look through that viewfinder and do this. All right, that must be on the brass. There we go. Okay. Three, five, six. Three, five, six. Okay, so the bullet diameter is three, five, six. It's it's not even three fifty seven, and it and it has a bulge in it already. All right, so let's measure here at the bulge. All right, well, that's still smaller than Winchester's. Because uh, when I loaded my uh, 3565 bullets in the uh, Winchester, the, the brass measured at that bulge was uh, 0 0.380. So this is 2,000 smaller. So that's that's good. That's good. But I got a feeling this 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 federal brass is going to be. Oh, now look, it's saying, okay, I wasn't wasn't putting enough pressure on it. All right, let's not. I'm good with that. Let's let's see if we can get a measurement on the. Case length. Keep it from 
Which light did we do? What happened? Oh, it slid off it again. Alright, there you go. 1.708. That's not too bad. Alright, let's look at the bullet itself. Well, this is 180 grain. Now you'll notice uh, when I loaded those uh, Sierra bullets, I didn't smash the brass down or, or I mean the lead or cut the lead off to make it flat to where I could extend the bullet out and get more powder in it. Like, like they've done here, they've flattened the nose to make it more accessible to, uh, to the... Uh, to get in the magazine, which I can understand that. And then too, you never know when that hits a deer, that might flatten out even more since it's already flat to start with. Good looking bullet, but it's still, it's not a 357, it's 356. All right, now well, there we go. Now all I need to do is get to the range and try some of this stuff out. Let's grab another one out. Let's grab one here in the, toward the middle. Let's see if we get any different uh, measurements. Yeah, it's so hard to do that and look through that. Nope, 356. Let's go right here with the bulge is. There. Three seven eight. All right. Well, that's pretty consistent. So what I have seen so far out of some of the videos I've watched with them using federal ammunition is that uh, it has pretty consistent speeds. So let's see. I think uh, New York Reloader he done some. On ammunition done some uh, review on fi uh, federal ammunition and found some discrepancies but I think he was using like military second brass or second ammunition and stuff all looks good I still just don't understand what the spots are all about that was got some Real bad spots on it. Let's see. I thought I seen one earlier that had some dents in it. Yes. And now I don't see it. Oh, well. All right, guys. So there's, there's the federal ammunition. Uh, well, I must blab a lot because I can't get under <laughs> five five minutes on a video. But anyway, uh, that's my review just out of the box on the Federal 350 Legend ammunition. Uh, of course, I will be shooting this and getting some chronograph readings and we'll go from there and then we'll... Uh, Reload this press and see how it acts. All right, guys. Catch you in the next video. It'll be fine. It will be fine.